Hi everybody. So as promised in the last video, uh, uh, we are I'm showing you what these big back ribs start to look like when you put them on the skin. So you can kind of see the subassembly of both sides sitting on the back of the skin right there. So that's the one of the long rib, uh, long ribs, one of the short ribs, shorter ribs, and the shortest dish rib. None of that makes any sense. Just look at what I'm working with right here. That's where the two um, stiffeners are that hold the steps in place. And it's got that little vertical component that is just another cross brace for the side skin, which is going to go on many chapters from now. But before... Okay, so in the last video, I had riveted everything up except for the big rib that you see sitting on the table there, or on the skin there. Uh, before I could rivet that on, had to make sure that all the holes were primed, which we did. Uh, or I should say the mating surfaces, and then thank God for the squeezer. I mean, ser seriously, if, if, you, if you're going to do something like this, you have to have the best tools. I, I don't say this often enough, or I probably say it too often. Uh, the, it's, it's really the tools. Um, without that squeezer, I've, seen, I've used a hand squeezer. There's nothing wrong with a hand squeezer. It does the job, it squeezes rivets, and it's great. But it can be a little bit unruly, and you're, you know, you're applying pressure to these two big handles, and I've, I've seen it get away from me uh, once, where it just kind of spins around, you know, because you're putting a lot of force in. Um, and, you, you know, you, get a really, you create a really bad rivet. I can't imagine having done the thousands I've already done on this thing, uh, with a hand squeezer. So, just get the good stuff. Here you see me floundering around trying to move it. Uh, it. So this is an official point. So this is it. The fuselage is now too, well at least this part, is too bulky and a pain in the butt to move by myself. I gotta have aid. It's official. I can now no longer do anything. Uh, what, you, what I'm doing right here is... Um, I'm riveting the first, so the middle five rivets of the back bulkhead, well, the back wing box bulkhead, the main bulkhead you see me with here, uh, you don't rivet everything right now. You just rivet five rivets in the front and the center, which I've done, um, and then you rivet all the ribs. So I was able to do the five center ones, which was fine, and now my friend Ted is here, and Ted and I are going to rivet this thing up the proper way. Ted's always in dire need of some quote-unquote rivet therapy. So I am more than happy to oblige. So what we've done is we've set the whole thing up on the side because the bottom skin kind of sticks out from the front of that bulkhead, you know, like a few inches. And so you can't really just turn this thing up on the side in the middle of the table. It has to be on an edge so that skin can go down. Captain, uh, there's Captain Midnight, Drew Kemp, also known as Captain Midnight. He's uh, one of our light instructors who is a very seasoned pilot, and he is taking an offer to go f learn how to fly citations. So we got CFIs dropping left and right. But at the same time, we got them joining left and right, so our club's in no danger. So, you know, Ted and I are into uh, efficiency, and so in the next video, we'll talk about how we were kind of doing this, because we're going to, this is going to take a whole other video. We get distracted, uh, but basically, we, we time ourselves with how quickly we can do a row of rivets, you know, while doing them at a very high standard, of course, but how fast can you do it? You know, how good can you get into it? So, in the next video, we're going to finish out all of the ribs. We're going to rivet all the ribs into the skin, and we're going to rivet that back bulkhead, and everything's good. Um, and then you'll see sort of what it looks like. We're going to Clico in the back ribs, so. Oh, yes, and Miss Shannon came to inspect. I will tell you all about that in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.